we know this is going to be difficult. It's, uh, you know, we're up against, like you see, the best in the world, the best manufacturers, best drivers. So I, I think our expectations are, you know, a good finish, for sure a finish. This, every test, every race we do is a test. Um, the top five would be wonderful. A podium would just be, uh, it, would be it would be a huge victory for the team. The Porsche is one of the most proven cars in the series. It's been a staple of dominance for such a long time. So from Falcon's perspective, there's nothing better to develop a tire around. You can be guaranteed that Porsche is always going to do what they have to do to make sure their car wins races. Um, so with that in mind, it's in Falcon's best interest to build a tire around that car because now you have two common interests. Falcon wants to win, Porsche always wants to win. Um, so I think that's how they came to the, con the, the conclusion that Porsche was the best uh, car to go with and you know, the best decision for us. Um, a lot of tire testing I've done in the past with other manufacturers, uh, they'll say this is a really big change in compound or construction or something and you really can't feel a difference at all, right? But it, the Falcon tire, they're really uh, clearing changes. The tire, you can feel it, you can um, feel the different compounds, and we're making some good progress, I think. It's good. That's, uh, the, the, the competition is so great that um, it's, it's the best, it's the best um, format for any, any, any type of uh, manufacturer of any product because you can have just about anything here. There's so many manufacturers of tires and chassis and components that it's the best proving grounds we feel uh, to, to improve our product and, and get the message out that Falcon has a good product. I, I don't think that you can go much of anywhere right now and see anything any more difficult. The level of the teams is, you know, all the way from the privateers to the full factory teams is extraordinary. Um, you had the best teams I've ever seen, the best drivers I've ever seen, the best tire combinations I've ever seen. Uh, so when you come in here and, and you finish on the podium or on a top five, uh, even a top seven at this point in time, um, I mean, there's some, there's some respect that goes into that. You know, I mean, it, it's certainly the best series uh, in sports car racing right now. I think there's a lot of other places you can go, but I don't think anything offers the extreme depth that the American Le Mans series does. You know, I don't know if it's difficult, but you, you really uh, feel like you gotta bring your A game. You know, it's, uh, it's really the series to watch, I think, this, nation, uh, this year. Uh, it's uh, all the top professional drivers are in the series, you know, worldwide. You know, they all fly in for the LMS races, and it's uh, definitely gonna be a good season, I think. Uh, I couldn't tell you enough about the drivers, how wonderful that has been. That has been such a welcome experience for all of us. Uh, you know, we've, we've worked with a lot of good drivers. There was a list of, you know, we, we all talk about our, our driver list of who we want to choose from, and we, I think we picked the best two there is. The feedback on in-laps, pit lane talk, between races and tests, um, the communication is just impeccable. They're, they're extremely accurate. The engineers in Japan, uh, Mr. Yusuda, he's very happy. The, uh, he has expectations. The drivers give us feedback that match his expectations. We're, we're very happy with that. Uh, no, there's no, been no surprise. They tell us exactly what, what Falcons expected, which is a, which is a great combination.